Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the RC calc sheet, and we're gonna ultimately determine how fast our V2 limit list is going to go with the components that we have selected. Now, the way that we're gonna do this is we need to understand information about all the components within our radio control car or our ARMA limit list V2, and we need to even understand the gearing as well as the size of the tires. So a few parameters that we have been able to capture in the last couple weeks is battery information. We now know the internal resistance under load of our battery, so we'll be able to use that as part of our calculation to really understand the type of voltage drop. We'll be able to estimate the amount of current that we are going to hit. Obviously, we won't be able to predict the exact current that we're going to be at, but we should be able to give it a good approximate as to the value that we'll hit when the car is at top speed. So not the acceleration amount that we want to capture here. We're ultimately going to predict and estimate the amount of current that we should expect to see when that car is at maximum speed. So this should be relatively low compared to the acceleration current required to get us up to that top speed. Another parameter that we're gonna to need to capture is the gearing that we're using. And we're gonna be using a 27 tooth pinion gear along with a 45 tooth spur gear. We're gonna be able to enter that into the calculator as well as the diameter of the tire being 99 millimeters. So with all that being said, let's go ahead, take all these parameters and a few extras that we haven't talked about and drop that into the calculator and just see what kind of speed that this is going to predict we should be able to hit. Let's go ahead and get that done. Here's the spreadsheet that we're going to use. This one is the RC Explain Patreon RC Calc Sheet. Now you can use one that comes right off the radiocontrolinfo.com website. However, it's not gonna have the same functionality that this spreadsheet has. I do include a load factor for the motor and I also include voltage drop calculations that we will be using throughout this calculation. Let's get started and throw the information into the correct cells here. So we know that we're going to be using in our limitless V2 an eight cell lithium polymer battery pack and the KV of the motor is going to be 2400. Now we can do a couple things here. If we know that we're gonna make the very first pass of the day and that's gonna be our fastest speed, then we can have the max volts per cell equal to 4.2. If we know it, we're gonna be pushing it harder on maybe the second or third pass, and this is obviously not gonna result in the peak speed that you possibly can get, we can use other voltage values here for max. So this is essentially how this this ends up working. We're gonna keep there at 4.2 volts, so maximum possible RPM that we can get out of our motor based off of a fresh battery. Now the load factor I have here on the right hand side that a lightly loaded motor is gonna be 3%, moderately loaded motor 7%, heavily loaded motor 12%. It really depends on how hard you are pushing your motor. Now we're gonna push the motor not up to the 12%, we're probably gonna be somewhere around the 10% mark. Here you have to be able to throw in a load factor based on how much you think that KV is going to drop under low. This is what this factor is doing. So this is what we're gonna start with. We're gonna have like a 10% load factor here for our limitless. We do plan to get this up to the 12% and even possibly beyond that if we really start to get kind of crazy with this motor. We'll see where we end up. So now what I wanna do is I wanna look at the pinion gear as well as the differential gears. What I need to do first, however, is select my limitless V2. This now updates the gearing here for us and we don't need to have that memorized. However, what we want to do now is take a look at the pinion and the spur gear and we're going to change that we know that we're at a 27 tooth for the pinion this is what we have and then a 45 on the spur and what we want to do before we go and update our tire diameter is we're going to make a guess here at the loaded current we know that we are going to be somewhere in the vicinity of 400 amps at speed it's probably going to be a little bit less than 400 amps we already know a little bit of test data there, so we know that we should be somewhere 400 amps or lower for the top speed that we'll probably hit. At the average IR per cell, we are seeing somewhere around the 2.5, 2.6 milliohm mark. Let's leave it at the 2.5 here. 
And now we can change our last parameter at tire diameter going to 99 millimeters. So this is now the calculation for speed for our Arma Limitless. 137 miles per hour is what this calculator is predicting. We should hit somewhere around 221 kilometers per hour. So that is our target for the gearing that we have. And we're going to see what we can get in the very first pass. That's a pretty decent speed for some conservative gearing on this Arma Limitless. We're using the Castle 1721 2400 kV motor, and that motor definitely has the ability to push the Limitless beyond the 150 mile per hour mark. 150 is the mark, it is the goal that I'm looking to achieve with this build, and hopefully we can achieve just that. Now the way that we're gonna do this is over a several days, we're gonna push the pinion gear up once we get comfortable and are able to hit the top speed of that specific gearing set. Once we've done that, then we'll go up and jump to the next pinion gear size that we're going to use, and eventually we should be able to exceed that 150 mile per hour mark. Well guys, if you want to join me along in this journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because the next video that you see is going to be the Limitless in its very first pass V2 using this exact setup. We're going to see exactly how close this calculator is in coming up with the predicted speed of this exact setup. Subscribe if you haven't, like this video if you do, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.